So in my series, I need you to remember, and in the series is several videos. I think it's about maybe six videos. It's even a prequel. But in a lot of those videos, or quite a few of those videos, I touch on the idea of the education system and how it's not really there to educate us, but to indoctrinate us. And I think people misunderstand it. They think I have something against edu education. I, I get that feedback from them. I get that energy like, oh, Kirk has something against education. And I don't. You see, education in the truest sense of the word is imparting knowledge. So the person who's getting that knowledge is now capable of making critical decisions and critical thinking. Indoctrination is the opposite. What we get in the education system is not education. We don't come out of school as critical thinkers. Education involves exposing individuals to different perspectives, uh, different ideas, and encouraging them to ask questions. What we get in the educational system is not education, it's indoctrination. And I, because I wasn't raised in the United States, I came here at age 15, it was much easier for me to see through the nonsense. So I'm in school as a teenager, and every morning we get up and we put our hand across our heart. Well, my heart is on the other side. We put our hand across our heart and I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Well, wait a minute. Why the hell would I pledge allegiance to a piece of cloth? And let me get Siri for a second. Siri, what's the definition of allegiance? Allegiance means loyalty or commitment of a subordinate to a superior or of an individual to a group or cause. Allegiance means loyalty or commitment of a subordinate. So me pledging allegiance now makes me a subordinate. Loyalty or commitment of a subordinate to a superior or of an individual to a group or cause. So I'm now pledging allegiance, puts myself in this position where I'm inferior. Because I'm pledging allegiance to a superior or I'm subordinate. The other thing is I'm saying I pledge allegiance to the flag, meaning whatever is done under the name of this flag, I'm rolling with it. I don't care how immoral, how illegal, how wrong it is. I, my allegiance is with the flag. Whatever is done under the name of the flag, I'm rolling with that. So that's not education. That's the same tactics that Hitler used. So it's indoctrination. Then we're told this wonderful, fantastical story of the founding fathers have this vision that God told them manifest destiny. They should own the land from sea to shining sea. Never told us about the, the millions of people that they butchered and murdered to take the land. So again, it doesn't impart critical thinking. It's all indoctrination. And by the time we go through the school system in 12 years, we're pretty much indoctrinated to go and become worker bees because we're told this is what success look like. You got to go and you got to work really hard and then you got to acquire some material things. In those 12 years, we're taught how to conform, comply, and consume. It's not education, folks. It's indoctrination. Education is to be able to look through it and be like, oh my God, they're not really teaching us anything. Because again, when Rockefeller decided that we needed a public school system where everyone should go to be educated, before that, we were living on farms and we were growing our own food. But he decided there's a lot more money to be made if I'm selling everybody their food. And they used to, people used to go to school on Sundays for a few hours. That's the term Sunday school. So Rockefeller's like, now nah, everybody needs to go to school. And they did a study. And when they did that study, they decided it took about 12 years to really indoctrinate people. So they moved them into the school system and moved people into being worker bees. And when they asked Rockefeller, well, wait a minute, we general educated people, the people went to class and they learn how to read and learn how to write. What are we going to teach them for 12 years? And he said, we'll teach them everything about nothing. And that's how you leave school. You learned everything about nothing. Uh, the square root of pi. When was the last time you used that crap? Uh, what, what else did we learn? The, the periodic chart. Uh, just a bunch of crap that we have no use for in the average day and age. They never taught us anything about credit. They never taught us. They never taught us anything about dealing with difficult people. Why is my camera doing this bullshit? They never taught us anything about credit. They never taught us taught us anything about dealing with difficult people, relationships. How do we build successful and fulfilling relationships? We learned everything about nothing. 
And we came out of the school system indoctrinated, not knowing that we were programmed to self-destruct. So that's why I talk about the school system and the education system, because it's not education, not in the truest form of the word. It is indoctrination. And it's no different than what Hitler did in Germany. But we are so, oh, my God, we're Americans and we're the best. And yeah, there's no one better than us. And we're so dumbed down that the statistics are right there in front of us. And we won't look at it to see that we're failing at everything because we're indoctrinated to believe no matter how much we're struggling, there's no one on this planet that's smarter than us and better than us and more equipped and educated than us. Yeah, we've been... We've been we've been indoctrinated into being full blown idiots, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we are, full blown idiots. And we have to take our power back by now educating ourselves. We have to get back to learning how to critically think, learning how to look at information and don't just line up and do whatever we're told because we trust our government so much and they're so noble and so benevolent and they would never do anything to harm us. I remember I was talking to a family member of mine about something, I'm not even going to go into some I can get banned, that the government did. And she was like, well, why would they do that? She was so trusting that she couldn't believe and I'm like, well, all the evidence are there that they have done other stuff like that. If you look at how they infected black people with syphilis and just watch them for how many years because they want to see the long term effects of syphilis. I mean, there's documented facts of what this government have done. If you read about redlining and all the other racist stuff that was done on the name of the government. Well, I, I just don't think the government would do something like that. I don't think. And that's exactly the point. You don't think. If you read, study, and uncover the information, then you'll think. But for now, yeah, I don't think the government. So that's the point of, of the video when I go in and talk about the school system is the fact that we don't think, but we believe we do. We believe we're educated when indeed we're indoctrinated.